tired of those ordinary cookie cutter vacations? Are you longing for an adventure that sweeps you away? Well, in his new book, Nights to Imagine, author Peter Gutman recalls some great experiences off the beaten path, and he's here to share some of them with us. I have to thank you, first of all, Peter, for bringing us this book, even if I never see any of these places. I feel like I've seen them already. Let's start with The Keeper's House, and I just want to read one line from the narrative that just has such a beautiful vision. As darkness falls, count the distant lighthouses that form a sparkling maritime necklace across the horizon. It's beautiful. I feel it's poetry that you've written here. Thank and you pictures very much. to go with it. Thank you very much, Jane. I tried to keep uh, a, a sensuous narrative that runs through it re that really makes you want to visit these places. Oh, you have accomplished it. I feel like I've visited already. And the Keeper's House, I'm ready to go. Sure. This is actually uh, along the easternmost point of uh, the United States, near where the sun first rises mm. in the morning. And you have to take a mailboat out to the beautiful island of Isla Hote off the coast of Maine. You get to spend an evening evening in the Lighthouse Keeper's home, which is just on the edge of the granitic cliffs where the waves are crashing and you could look out and see the lobstermen hauling in their traps. And it is a turn of the century home in dollhouse cozy decor. Absolutely romantic, candlelit dinners. It's still lit by kerosene lanterns and you could go hiking out the trails that lead into Acadia National Park. It's a fiercely mm. romantic place. Very much, but not somebody necessarily who has to have a lot of athletic strength. Oh no, not at all. You do need to uh, be able to endure the mailboat ride that takes you out there though. <laughs> that sounds like a warning from the author. <laughs> Walrus Islands. Now that's for the person who likes to run marathons for fun. Well, now we'll head over to the westernmost reaches of uh, the North American continent. This is where you can have an extraordinary wildlife experience. It rivals basically anything you would see in the Galapagos or in East Africa because you get to spend several nights with about 15,000 ivory tusk walruses that are snorting and grunting. It's a really comic scene. Is it to safe? It is safe. You're up on a uh, grassy perch just above uh, the ledge, the beach where these uh, walruses carpet the shoreline, and you watch these two-ton bundles of bouncing pink biomass kind of snorting <laughs> and bumping into each other through the night. It's really a... There you go again with the pun. Say it again. Two-ton... Bundle. Bundles of pink uh, okay. biomass. See, I love this book. It's it's an amazing experience but out there. But this tent that you show us, you say it has to be able to withstand hurricane force winds? That's true. This is in one of the um, areas of North America where the weather is the worst. It's where the low pressure systems originate from. So uh, This is for the adventurous. It is, it is definitely for the hardcore adventurer. This one I love. My brother Paul has seven children. This would be an appropriate vacation for Paul and his family. This it? is a real storybook of locale. It's <laughs> So located actually in the foothills of the Alleghenies in Pennsylvania, it's a, it's a three-story tall concrete hallucination that is shaped in the, um, in the form of a shoe, and it was built by an eccentric uh, shoe manufacturer as an homage to footwear, and he has enshrined images of himself in the stained glass windows that punctuate the shoe, and it's uh, just a, a real fun childlike experience to be able to sleep in the toe of a shoe or <laughs> to be able to cook up some filet sole in the heel perhaps it's a, quite a fun experience the treehouse was my favorite the treehouse is a really great family adventure and this is where you can have a swiss family robinson experience way up in the swaying branches of a white oak tree mm. and uh, here you get to swing like tarzan from the ropes uh, that dangle from the tree or climb across the hanging bridges and you can go way out on a limb and spend a few evenings and actually relatively comfortable interiors for a tree house. You could see uh, cushy futons and hard <laughs> polished uh, wooden floors and rugs and it, it's quite a fun adventure. And there are also beaches in the book. There are beaches on the other side of the luxury spectrum. Uh, we could head down to Little Palm Island, which is located off uh, the Keys. And here you see a private boat that will take you out to a five-acre gem of a Bally High-like paradise where you can spend some time in your own private bungalow and shower in the outdoor garden that is totally enclosed and private. And in the evenings, you can retire to the soft, uh, pillowy fans of the beach, torch lit, and have a gourmet dinner under the uh, swaying palms and the moonlight. Wow. I can feel the sun on my face now, Peter. It's very romantic to be there. It's a beautiful book. Thank, Thank you, you for taking us to all these wonderful places. Thank you very much. Peter it's Gutman. a pleasure. We'll be back.